What are we finding today, Brian? Man, we're gonna find a uh, complete box hurricanes for fifty dollars. We're gonna find three ninjas for one dollar. Both SOSs need those. Uh, International Superstar Soccer Mint, you know, because they got tons of those. Yeah, pretty much stuff that doesn't exist. All common stuff, man. Oh yeah, there's a sign right there. Here we are at Arkansas's first retro expo thrown on by the Arkansas Picker at the Hotel Hot Springs. Five to get in? Five to get in and the posters are five. I'll get one on the way out because I don't want it to get spin up. Finally, a convention in my own backyard and it was only $5 to get in. Hopefully we can find some good stuff today. Forceland Punisher. That doesn't look like a SOS game. <laughs> 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 Good, how are you? Good. Thank you. All right, first things first, you know I gotta scan around and find those complete and box Super Nintendo games. Come on, where are they? That crisp cardboard, those sweet 16-bit game cards, and those super informative things that they call instruction booklets. What you got going on here? Last Action Hero, Super Goals and Ghosts. Now this is a good price, so I'm assuming it's missing the manual. Hey, what is, is there something under this one too? There's another box. Hey, this probably oh, that's it. Yeah, no manual. Yeah, no manual. Still not a bad uh, It's kind of beat up. Yeah. Warlock is actually pretty fun. I, I beat it not too long ago. I got a wood. I, I think I already have that one. I think I got it from Matt even. Yeah, that seems familiar. We're lucky I got it. I, I need the manual for this one. But that's a lot to pay just to get a manual. Oh, you need a manual for that one? Yeah, it's got all the inserts and stuff. Oh, dang. I think I need a box upgrade too, to be honest with you. Did you look at these games? Yeah. There's like, like that Rocco's in good shape from what I can see. Uh, Super Smash, that's kind of a hard one to find. True Lies. I mean, there are some good ones in there, but I have them all. Are there any Super Nintendo manuals in there? Oh, hey, yeah, let's, uh... Oh, Earthbound, dude. Did you see the Earthbound? The Lucy Goosey? Yeah. So that store we're going to go to... Man, if that was complete, I got it. I see that. Yeah, I saw. Need Earthbound, man? I need an Earthbound, but complete in box. Oh, he wants the big guy. Yeah. Let me I'll see if I need any of these manuals. Okay. Oh, geez, man. There's a lot to That's look nice. through here. Yeah, here's, these all look pretty decent. Actually, that might be an upgrade to my Mystic Quest. Super Mario World? I mean, yeah. it's a two division. I picked me up some Super Nintendo boxes and manuals, and then I keep walking around the convention. And I see this Mega Man 64 sitting here, and I remember on the N64 quest how hard it was to actually find that complete in box. So it was really cool to see this nice copy sitting here. I almost picked it up. Is your event going as well as you hoped it is? Um, it's going way better than I thought it was going to go, and I'm kind of nervous because there's so many people here. Uh, I wanted 100 people for the day, and we're at like 160 people right now on our end. Game Exchange Hot Springs. After the convention, we head to Game Exchange. Game Exchange in Hot Springs is one of my favorite game exchanges. I actually found a Final Fantasy II complete in box here and also a Secret of Mana complete in box. And today they have Flashback complete in box, which I need, and this one's mint. It's also 100% complete in box with the baggy poster, registration card, all that, so I end up picking it up. And it's only $45, which is a great deal. And the next game store we go to is Retro Video Games, also in Hot Springs. I'm a fan of the store. Really nice people, one of the best selections around, and they always seem to have new stuff every time I go there, which isn't really often. Just look at these games stacked to the ceiling. Box consoles and games all the way from Atari up to Switch. I 
found a beautiful complete in box Castlevania 4 in the store, along with the loose NBA Jam Tournament Edition that I got a box for at the convention. And I had an extra Super Mario All Stars complete in box and some Switch stuff that I ended up trading for them. They gave me a lot higher trade value than most stores would have given me. Oh, I didn't even try to get rid of my, my little TV thing. From Retro Video, yeah. Worst of the Worst, Championship Taekwondo. It's actually, I mean, like, like a 6 or $7 game, but never find it in decent shape. Let's move another one that's really hard to find uh, trade for that. And that's another one. I mean, it's hard to find it without it being banged up. Baseball. That's, you know, not like a super expensive game or nothing, but just another game that's been kind of elusive. And they had to put the sticker price right on the label. They, they did. You got to do that. Another one, another game that it's like a three dollar game that I hardly ever find it. I've never seen that game, yeah. man. That thing's rare. Made in Puerto Rico. I was going through my Madden and I was like, I don't have Madden ninety seven and of course while I'm looking for it, I never find it. And the first booth I went to today had it. And that's actually, you know, not too bad a shape for it. Uh, Vegas stakes, but I got it because it has a nice back. And it's actually got the nice dash one back on it, so like the later revision back. So it's it's pretty nice. Same thing with this championship pool, two bucks. I mean, I'll pay two dollars for a nice bag any day. And actually, the fronts on were really nice too. Got a complete box, Rabbit Rampage. Thirty bucks. That's a good price. Man. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good deal for it. So I think it's thirty-two complete. The prices at the convention were all really good, from what I've seen. Some random guy gave me this box. I don't know who did that. Yeah, some guy. Some Wayne's World guy. Oh, and, well, I guess before the milk call thing. Uh, got that at the Game Exchange in Hot Springs. It's pretty cool. So, I guess in Japanese it's Red Aramir 2 for um, the Dark Horse Quest. Yeah, people on my channel have never seen anything Japanese before. <laughs> but, I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm not a big, you know, I'm not a Japanese game collector. So, I got Rex Ronin. Uh, did not come loosey goosey, but y'all know about that later. Yeah. Um, Somebody got the box and manual. Yeah, <clears throat> I just need to do some experimental surgery. I actually <laughs> might need a part of that manual to learn how to do it. Um, World Soccer 94, Roads to Glory. I mean, I'm a Ziploc bag, so it's ready to go to lunch with me. I got that one on the way, but it's coming from overseas. Yep, it's on so, the container right now. Yeah, on the container, so it'll probably be like 30 plus days. Metal Morph. Yeah. yeah. Wild cats. Got that for a really good deal, basically half off. Uh, just now notice that there's like somebody wrote into the plastic or into the the card that says BJ, so that's cool. Brainies, got the good seal of quality. No, it's never been opened. Dark waters. Don't care nothing about this case. It's a nice case. I don't care nothing about it. But I mean, the cartridge inside is pretty sweet. Beautiful. I might be one of the next ones I play. Speaking of wildcats, look at that wildcat. All right, so we're getting ready to head to another store that I've never been to here in Arkansas called Double Header. So we'll check that out together. It'll be pretty cool. Double Header, the final store of the day. Well, wow, this is a really nice setup, though, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy the like just the odd games they have. Like Snow Bros Special. Yeah, cool. I actually thought about getting that one. I like the TV, the PSP TV. There's like games here like you never find anywhere else. Like the selection is pretty wild. This place. He's got a world the Nintendo yeah. fiber. This store only had a few Super Nintendo loose games I didn't need, so I didn't get anything here, but I think I'm gonna keep coming back to this store and trying to buy this sign eventually. So it was a pretty great day for game chasing at ARX and the other game stores we went to. And we'll take a look at some of my pickups. We got Super Goals and Ghost, Box and Manual, this was 50. And we got Last Action Hero, Complete in Box, this was also 50 but I combined them both and got them both for 80. Next up I found four boxes at ARX and those were Nickelodeon Real Monsters, Looney Tunes B-Ball, Tetris Attack, and NBA Jam Tournament Edition. And I did find the cart for this game at Retro Video Game Store and I found the cart for Looney Tunes B-Ball at the same store. Also along with those four boxes I got a whole stack of manuals 
that I needed or some that I may find just the box and cart for later on like Metal Morph and this Metal Morph manual was only $15 and that's a pretty pricey complete in box game. So hopefully I can find a good deal on just a box and cart. And these manuals are Mario Paint, Animaniacs, Cal Ripken Jr. Baseball, Super NES Mouse, Super WrestleMania, Super Star Wars, Metal Morph, Street Hockey 95, and Mario's Time Machine. Next up at Game Exchange, I found a complete, 100% complete in box, very minty copy of Flashback. And it was only priced at $45, and they go for more than that already. And like I said, this one is 100% complete, and its condition is amazing. So it should have been a lot more than what I got it for. Also a retro video, I got this copy of Super Castlevania 4 complete in box and I was really excited to add this to the collection and this is also 100% complete in box. And last but not least, I ended up getting some boxes and manuals from Brian and those were Rex Ronin and Tecmo Super NBA Basketball. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and I'll be bringing you more videos like this. Also make sure to leave a thumbs up for the Arkansas Retro Exchange. Until next time, I'm Gamer Wayne and thanks for watching.